I'm J.D. Durkin reporting from the New York Stock Exchange. Thursday, March 28th marks the final trading day of the month, and all three major indices are on pace to finish both the month and the first quarter in positive territory. Many analysts here on Wall Street have recently boosted their 2024 price targets for the S&P 500. In other news, it's only getting worse for prospective home buyers. New data from the S&P CoreLogic Case-Shiller U.S. National Home Price Index revealed that home prices rose by 6% year over year in January. as the highest annual increase we've seen since 2022. The report said all cities saw year over year increases for the second consecutive month and that prices continue to set new all time highs. Among the factors adding to the skyrocketing prices are historically low inventory and elevated mortgage rates. Despite rates continuing to drop from a high of roughly 8% in 2023, they still sit at 6.87% according to Freddie Mac data. And while they are expected to drop lower throughout 2024, it'll still be cheaper for most Americans to rent instead of buy. According to Realtor.com's most recent rental report, rent in the country's 50 largest cities is still cheaper than paying a mortgage. The average cost of buying a starter home in those cities was over $1,000 more expensive than renting. Austin, Seattle, Phoenix, San Francisco, and Los Angeles were the top five cities with the largest rent versus buy savings. That'll do it for your daily briefing from the trading floor of the New York Stock Exchange. I'm J.D. Durkin with The Street.